All right, I am here with Isaac Haxton. Isaac, you just took down the 100K Super High Roller. Already this year, you took down the 50K Poker Go Cup. So that's, I believe, two in a row for you. Gotta feel good. Feels fantastic, yeah. I don't think I've ever won two tournaments in a row before. Uh, and these were pretty ones, pretty good ones to do it in. So yeah, I'm feeling great. This is a fantastic start to the year. Yeah, definitely. And speaking of good ones to do this in, you have some history here at PCA. I believe your first ever cash was here in 2007. There's some epic footage back when you had hair more similar to mine waving in the wind when they were playing outside. You finished second in that event for $598,000. How does it feel to, to come back here and close it out and get that title? Yeah, it feels great. I, I've done quite well here in the Bahamas and it feels fantastic to add another score to the list. Uh, yeah, I like being here, I like playing these tournaments and yeah, feel great about it. <laughs> so talk a little bit about three-handed play. Uh, I believe you had the chip lead, but then a few double ups for Mateos and then you guys were all about even. You guys decided on an ICM chop. Uh, what was the reasoning behind that? Yeah, I mean, I think Seth and Adrian are both really great players. So once we got to even stacks, I was perfectly happy to chop it up. Uh, when I had the big chip lead, I thought, you know, I have an advantage there from the chip lead that isn't fully captured by the ICM calculation and it's hard to agree on a number. Uh, so we didn't really even discuss a chop until that point. I think basically everyone's on the same page about that. It's really difficult to chop three-handed when stacks are very different because it's hard to reach an agreement about what everybody's position is worth. But then once it got to equal, I think, yeah, we were all just happy to book a million dollars each and call it a day. And we don't see you at a ton of these live festivals in, in the past few years. I know you play Triton and some other things. I'm sure COVID has a, a lot yep. to do with that. Are we gonna see more of you on the live felt? Yeah, I, I've been quite cautious about COVID since that started, but I expect that in 2023, I will be back at quite a lot of the major live events. And I'm sure you'll be playing a, a full schedule for the rest of the series here, probably? Yeah, I'll be playing a full schedule here for sure. I'll be hopping in the main right after this, I think, and unless maybe that 50K turbo is looking good, but it wasn't last time I looked at it, so probably the main. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations again. Thank you very much.